Hello everyone, in today's episode, I'll be providing an update on my portfolio and discussing my future plans. Let's take a look at my portfolio allocations as of September 22nd. The top 4 holdings are from the big US tech giants, Nvidia, Amazon, Microsoft and Apple. These are closely followed by TSMC, Tesla and Google. I won't dive into the specific of each company in this episode, but if you're interested, let me know in the comments and I might cover them in the future videos. As I have mentioned in previous episodes, this year's performance has been very good, particularly for those who invest in big tech. Currently, I have nearly 500,000 invested in the stock market. These are long-term holdings and I plan to keep building this portfolio. You might be wondering what I have been up to recently. To be honest, not a lot. This year, good returns are beneficial for our portfolio, but it also indicates that stocks are somewhat overpriced currently. I have been accumulating cash. Here's my rationale. I have a home mortgage with 250,000 outstanding. Fortunately, I secured a financing rate of 1.65% for 5 years, which lasts until March 2027. Given the rising interest rate rates, I aim to gather enough cash to potentially clear this mortgage by 2027. Speaking of valuations, I would like to direct your attention to this charge for the S&P 500. Here we are comparing the current index level against blue lines that represent different forward PE multiples. At about 18 times PE, the market isn't exactly cheap. It's worth noting that since last year, interest rates have surged considerably, making them quite attractive relative to stock valuations. Having not saved much cash over recent years, I believe this high interest rate environment presents an excellent opportunity to invest in safer assets. I'm not attempting to time the market. If a favorable opportunity arises, like a market drawdown, I'll invest some of my saved cash. Otherwise, I'm content parking it, potentially paying down the mortgage in a few years. Additionally, with the Fed signaling higher for longer rates, I'm not banking on rate decrease next year. I'd rather capitalize on this high interest rate environment. How am I saving? I'm diversifying between money market funds and T-bills. For the money market funds, I'm investing in Fullerton SGD cash funds, which currently offer a return of 3.7%. These are low risk investments, but there's the potential challenge that the 3.7% yield might not remain stable long term. T-bills are another viable options. The recent auctions have a cut-off yield of 3.73%. With issuances every two weeks, there's flexibility in investment timing. However, selling them might not be as seamless as clicking a button on your smartphone. you need to contact your bank. To mitigate this, many people suggest constructing a T-bill ladder. Picture this, you consistently invest a 6 months T-bill every month. By the 6 month, your initial investment matures, allowing for reinvestment without injecting fresh capital. A TB advantage is that it locks in the yield for 6 months without requiring activities like spending $500 on your credit cards for a higher rate. For those interested, the next auction is on September 28, so mark your calendars. In closing, investing isn't just about purchasing stocks. It revolves around balance allocations, including stocks, real estate, including own state and rental income, fixed income, CPF, cash and liquidity. You know you are on the right path if you sleep soundly at night, Retirement doesn't induce anxiety, you have adequate cash flow in retirement, your financial obligations are manageable, and you have set aside a substantial emergency fund. Alright, that wraps it up for today. I hope you found this video insightful. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. Until next time.